Did you know that in this country, more people are struck by lightning than are crushed by reptiles or injured as the result of a prolonged stay in a weightless environment? Yeah, it turns out lightning really is a hidden menace. Your point being? Well, what? this, what happens if you're struck by lightning in a car? Oh, well, you'd be all right, though, because you've got rubber tyres. Ah, not necessarily, you see, because car makers don't test for this sort of thing. So, after being pelted by golf balls, Top Gear arranged for a car to be struck by lightning. With me in it. <laughs> there are very few places in the world that have the technology to blast a car with lightning. Two of those places are in Holland and Germany. But only one of those nations is laid back, liberal and fun-loving enough to let me actually sit in the car whilst they hit it with 800,000 volts. Yep, it's those zany Germans. This is the Siemens High Voltage Lab in Berlin. Normally, this place builds and tests high voltage equipment for power stations and the national grid. These transformers can generate almost two million volts of pure electricity. But today, they're going to use that electricity for something else, to make lightning. They're going to zap me and this car with 800,000 volts, which is a lot. Stuff in your house runs on 240 volts. If it hits me directly, they'll clear me away with a shovel. You might be thinking that the tires are gonna protect me by insulating the car from Earth because they're rubber. Now, if the electricity can make it from the sky to the car, it can make it from the car to the ground. What's going to protect me is this, the body shell itself. Like all cars, the new Golf's body forms a Faraday cage. And a Faraday cage is something that attracts electricity and then sends it shooting around the outside so that whatever's inside shouldn't be harmed. But the problem is, this isn't like brakes or airbags. Car firms don't test for lightning strikes, so I've no idea how it'll go. Right. My life is now in the hands of A-level physics. The lightning will come out of these transformers, along the wires, and then shoot down to the car. What was that? OK, I was about to raise the voltage. Board. You're starting to raise the voltage. 200,000 volt. We did have a briefing with the scientists and he said keep my hands together towards the centre of the car and away from any metal objects. But it's a car. It's made of metal. 400,000 volt. I can hear a noise. I can hear a buzzing now. 600,000 volt. Really buzzing now. I don't know what's going to happen when it does come. I'm about to be hit by lightning. I know I am. It's building. It really is building. It builds the tension with it. It's quite a strange. You can almost feel the tension. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, now it's doing stuff to my car. I've got error up on the dashboard. Handbrake light flashing. <laughs> so it works. Assuming I'm not now talking to you with wings and a harp, I'm alive. The question is, is the car? Well, the electric windows work, obviously. Uh, lights, they work. Stereo, that's nice, lovely. Indicators, I mean everything. And it starts. It still works. Amazing.
so were you killed to death then? No, I wasn't, but I did prove that if you do live in, I don't know, that thunderstorm valley in Oklahoma and you crash into a substation in your car, everything's going to be fine.